Previously on the Angry Video Game Nerd. Take it, you fucking game! Mm. It's a boy? I'll call you back! I gave you the money. Now give me back my son! You fuck! Resistance is futile. And now, the conclusion. Sonic 06 was the game everybody and their grandma wanted me to review. So I did. But there's more to it. I only half-assed it. So why not go whole ass, which is the opposite of asshole. The torture continues, but the torture is all mine. So first off, I figured out how to beat Silver and kick the shit out of him. Once you learn his pattern, he's pretty easy. Just wait for him to try to launch the furniture at you and homing fuck him in the face until he's dead. Finally, we get to the cutscene. Silver shithog throws Sonic back as he makes a stupid face and hits a wall. Oh, and of course, the princess gets kidnapped again, only seconds after saving her. If she's just gonna get captured again, I might as well let Eggman keep her so I wouldn't have to deal with all this bullshit. Now Sonic has to go fight Eggman at his base, the White Acropolis. So now I run around aimlessly once again until I finally hit that magic area that lets me progress in the story. There's no clear designation of where to go. I swear the game just wants you to run around aimlessly until it decides you can progress. I hate this goddamn town. The droning music and robotic people freak the shit out of me. I mean, look at this. Why are there no guardrails? If Sonic falls, he dies. What happens if a normal person falls in there? That's unsafe, goddammit! And right here, if Sonic stands on the curb a certain way, he splits reality into two alternate dimensions existing in the same space and time. The visuals in this game give me a headache. Every time Sonic runs up or down a curb, the screen jitters! And it's not subtle either, the camera jerks down or up. So anyway, once you find the portal to the next level or act mission, you're treated to a totally rad snowboard level with some of the worst controls imaginable. Leave it to this game to make a snowboarding level suck. This should be one of the high points in the game, but of course, it's a warm, frothy mug of chocolate shit shake. Half the time I can't go anywhere or I go in the completely wrong direction. Beat the act mission and Dr. Robot Eggman sends you into the future. You get another cutscene, and Shadow the Hedgehog tells you that on August 29th, 1997, Eggman creates Skynet, and the world nukes itself, giving way for the machine war unless Tails gives birth to John Connor. Nah, that doesn't happen, but basically, it's a machine war and time travel. Why do you need that in a Sonic game? Whatever happened to just saving animals from becoming robots? Telekinesis, time travel, treasure hunting, bat tits, human princess, and hedgehog romance. This game just feels like it was never meant to be a Sonic game. I'm sorry to repeat myself, but sweet mercy, these loading screens are fucking shit. And what's worse is after it loads, you're still playing Sonic 06. Between the levels taking forever and the sheer amount of loading screens you see, this game is just stealing your life away. You're stuck playing the game, but time is moving on. People are getting older, friends come and go. New music is starting to sound like shit to you. I see two squirrels fucking outside my basement window. Oh, now there's a new baby squirrel already. I could have spent all this time watching that documentary about left-handed mattress makers, and you could have had a better hobby, like running around the woods sniffing wolf's assholes. Could you imagine getting close enough to a wolf to sniff its asshole? Let's play the fucking game. Every level from here on out gets more and more frustrating. The platform jumping in the lava level is some of the worst. I like how when Sonic dies, he just casually lays down on the lava. All the Sonic 06 has got me beat. Next you fight Iblis or Iblis, the prickly lava dick from hell. He's easy, but you'll be fighting the camera just as much. Hit him a few times, loading screen, cutscene, rinse and repeat. So once again, we're back here, running around for another half an hour. Radical train, dude! Yeah! 
And what exactly makes this train so radical? I don't fucking know. It looks like a regular train. Next time I have to travel, I'm gonna take the radical train. On second thought, I should have carpooled. <gasps> Beat the rest of the level, and you once again save the princess, only to have her immediately stolen back by Eggman, and then saved again by Sonic within a matter of minutes. Next, on to another cutscene filled with awkward sexual tension between a cartoon hedgehog and a human princess. And look, uh, Sonic even gives her the bedroom eyes. Ah, uh, 20 loading screens and another creepy cutscene later, and guess what? The princess gets captured! AGAIN! This time she just turns herself over to Eggman! A big fuck you to all your hard work. So now you play as Tails for some reason, which is annoying. He's slower than shit coming out of sloth, and the sound of his tail spinning is maddening. Seriously, listen to this sound repeatedly for a half hour. Uh. 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 Now, we're on to the real motherest of fucks. We're nearing the end of the game, but these last two levels are worse than anything up to this point. It starts with three trials to make it to the ancient castle. The first is the trial of knowledge. This will test your mind, more like it'll test my fucking patience. The whole point is to take the correct portals to get to the end. Nothing but trial and error. Just keep picking different portals until you get out. It sucks. The Trial of Courage is next, and it's a real heap of hog waste. This is definitely the worst of the three trials, because you have to beat a bunch of enemies without any rings. Make one mistake, and you're dead. Last is the Trial of Love. Pick either Amy or the Princess. It makes no difference either way. After the final trial, you get to ride an eagle up to the next level as it shits mid-flight. Get ready for this. You better buckle up your shit belt because this game is about to get turned up to 11 on the dick turd scale. This level takes forever, and if you get a game over, you have to do all these trials again. This level took me over an hour to beat, for real. You get to play as Silver in this level, who for some reason doesn't want to kill you anymore. He's okay because he has telekinesis, but he still controls like anal leakage. But you should already expect that. The engines are malfunctioning. She dies? Elise! So Sonic fails to save her and then she dies. So, so even when you do save her, she either gets captured again or turns herself in or fucking gets obliterated. So after you watch the princess get fucking destroyed, Sonic and Silver use their chaos emeralds to go back in time. Really? So they could just go back in time. Well, why not go back in time and kill Eggman when he was a baby? How about go back in time and stop this game from being made? Anyway, so you run around town, you ring three bells, you open the final level, which is the aquatic base. Uh, all right, here it is, the final act mission. By now, you've adjusted yourself to the crap factor, and it's not that the game is any easier, it's just that you know how to approach its shittiness after wasting hours of your life. That is until I reach by far the most son of a bitchiness obstacle in the entire game, the giant steel ball. This thing flies all over the damn place with just a slight touch of the joystick. If the ball touches the laser, you fall to your death. I'm losing all my fucking lives here. Fuck. Fuck. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. Just, just focus. Just focus. We're almost done. We're almost done. Whew. Yeah! I'm almost there. I can feel it. I reached this room that looks like a goddamn Virtual Boy game, except you'd actually rather play the Virtual Boy than this garbage. Run through the windows, kill the remaining robots, and you reach the end of the stage. So after three more cutscenes and three more loading screens, it's time. The final showdown between you and Eggman. The fight is frustrating as all hell. Every time he attacks, the camera moves, which changes the control directions. If you're not ready for it, you can fly off the platform. The only way to attack is to wait for him to fly at you, then grab onto the horn and crash him into the falling bombs. After you get three hits, his canopy opens and you can attack him by homing into his face. All right, here we go, I got him. Final shot, here we go. 
<laughs> Damn, if that isn't the sweetest loading screen ever. That's right, give me that motherfucking S rank. So on to the final cutscene. Sana carries the princess out of the flaming wreckage of Eggman's ship, the two share another sappy moment, and then like a vision of true beauty, the ending credits. <sighs> Thank God, Sonic 06 is over. Oh, I can move on with my life. Except there's a bunch of extra side episodes that are essential to the plot. Ah. Uh... Seriously, the last thing I want to do after beating Sonic 06 is play more fucking Sonic 06. I'd rather rip every individual pube out of my scrotum with salad tongs than play this anymore. How did this happen? Beat these episodes and you get the final one, which is the most frustrating. First off, Sonic dies. Yep, Sonic dies. So everyone has to scramble to get the seven Dragon Balls, I mean Chaos Emeralds, to save his life. If you have the patience, you can collect them all and put this shit to rest. The princess uses the emeralds to wake up Sonic and, 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 uh, what? Wow. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Well, Sonic 06, it's all done. Just to think, all the hours spent, all that time, all that torture, and now it's all over? God, yeah, you like the dog. Ah, yeah, give it to me. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, you like when I give you those bedroom eyes, right? Ah, yeah, uh. Just a heads up for fans of physical media who want to collect Angry Video Game Nerd episodes on Blu-ray, we now have four volumes on Blu-ray containing 147 episodes up to Game Boy accessories. Volume 1, known as AVGN X, crams in the first 100 episodes, plus bonus features, on two discs. X2 continues where it left off with episodes 101 to 114, plus bonus features, on two discs. The episodes are fewer because that's when they start shooting in HD, so they're presented in their full quality. X3 contains episodes 115 to 140, plus bonus features, on two discs. Volume 4, Ready for Revenge, is brand new with episodes 141 to 147, plus new bonus features, on one disc. Also, there's AVGN The Movie Blu-ray in surround sound with over 10 hours of bonus features all on one disc, which I had no idea was even possible. There's also James and Mike Monday's Blu-ray with 20 select episodes on one disc. And Board James The Complete Series on Blu-ray plus bonus features on one disc. Also, if you're looking for the DVD format, we still have the first nine DVD volumes of AVGN, which goes up to episode 139. These are all region-free and shipped worldwide. Go to store.screenwavemedia.com.